Are you an MBA HR professional? Are you a degree holder with 5 to 10 years of experience in HR? Are you looking a career in SAP HR? Then this is the video which you need to look for. Hello everybody, this is MVK. You are watching MVK Career Coach channel. Please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon for more such videos. SAP Success Factors This is the buzzword in HR in SAP world. You might have seen lot of job opportunities in SAP success factor. Lot of HR professionals, lot of laterals, lot of freshers in HR are pursuing this career. Let us discuss a little bit detail what is SAP success factor? What are the sub modules in SAP success factor? And what is the salary you can get at various positions? And how to get trained in SAP success factors? SAP success factors have various modules. If you go and check in general any particular company, definitely there will be an HR department, right? You might have seen somebody will taking care about recruitment, somebody taking care about personality development, somebody taking care about training, somebody taking care about payroll. So you have various functions. SAP success factors covers all these functions into different buckets. If you are in talent acquisition team, obviously you'll be doing a lot of recruitment activities, right? So in SAP success factors, you have something called recruitment. So this recruitment is the module which will take care about the functions and business processes for the recruitment function. And if you are part of performance appraisal team, and usually you do that performance appraisal, it may be a continuous performance appraisal, you do MBO approach, you do yearly approach, you know, there are various approaches which you follow, right? That is covered something called performance and goal management. Either it may be monthly continuous performance appraisal or yearly performance appraisal or you can follow different kind of method methods wherein you know only the supervisor will be giving the performance appraisal or it will be an MBO approach where you will have the bo both set up. All these things are covered in performance and goal management. If you are part of payroll team Every month you will manage leaves, you will manage payroll. For that you have employee central payroll. Apart from this, if you are part of training, you might be doing a lot of training for your employees, right? For that we have something called LMS, Learning Management System. Apart from this, there is a general module which in general what happens, we will have whenever an employee joined in an organization, we need to do certain setups, right? Which is a general HR function, you need to maintain his, his uh, data birth, his uh, demographical information, you need to collect all his documents, that basic documentation and initial documentation and updation of the records that entire setup is covered in a one of the critical module which is called employee central in fact in success factor 
the base starts from employee central apart from this in lot of companies there is a department which will take care about induction so that is something called as onboarding and success factor so nutshell you have employee central onboarding recruitment performance and goal management learning management system and payroll these are the major models of course there are few more modules are available in sap success factor but these are the key modules which are available in success factor you can choose any one or more modules for your career people start sometimes easy sometimes they starts with recruitment it depends on the capability and opportunities this is the options available now let us go ahead and discuss what kind of salaries you can expect in success factor success factor is one of the new modules in sap in fact success factor was a different product altogether sap is having its own internal hr system we will call it as human capital management wherein you know you have time management payroll you know and all other related modules available within sap hr but success factor was so successful sap liked it and sap took over that product and merged into its portfolio technically speaking sap still have hcm module and also success factor but slowly there is a road map wherein they are promoting more success factor only now from a success factor point of view hence it's a new product which has been acquired and the availability of the resources are less obviously salaries are high you can anywhere start 4 to 5 lakhs as a beginner with a one year experience in success factor and it goes all the way 80 to 1 cr per annum of course you have various cadres to reach to that level and coming to the training you know success factors as usual in any other program you have two options available one is you can go and do it anywhere near by institution wherein you know it will cost somewhere between 20000 to somewhere 30000 you can do that any one module will cost you that you can also go ahead and do the training with sap itself of course it's 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 depends and the the price varies from location to location but the catch here is if you want to be a success if you want to be a success factor consultant you got to be a certified and you need to retain that unlike other modules of sap here you got to have certification so one way or other way round you need to spend amount and you need to get this done in sap there is something called sap learning hub wherein which, which will cost you somewhere around inr 45000 as on today wherein you know you can get registered and get you will get some attempts for writing these examinations along with online access to the course so that is something which you can choose and can do it sap learning hub okay these are the details of the success factor down the line i will release details on each module you can wait and watch my channel so that you will get notification in that regard thanks for watching please subscribe and share this video to all the needy people have a nice day